bro, thank you for checking out this video. Please stay tuned because me and Kev, we are going to be talking about... Leicester Comic Con 2016. Oh man, this is going to be really good because there's loads of stalls there, there's loads going on. But I'm not going to chat too much because I'm a bit hyped at the moment. So I'm going to let Kev explain to you what he has researched on Facebook. Well basically, Leicester Comic Con, the Facebook group, and Pummel in those posts about stuff that's going to be there. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I think this is only the second one they've done, I might be wrong right, about that. Because right. um, I heard about the one last year and was I'm in an hour in about it. Mm -hmm. and, um, we saw that they were doing one this year and I think it's a lot bigger. Tickets are now sold out. We're, we're filming this sort of one week prior to the show, uh, the actual event. Uh, tickets were already sold out. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff there, like the Ghostbusters X01 card is going to be there. Oh, which, uh, that's, that's a photo moment. Yeah, that is definitely a photo moment. Instagram. And, and the, <laughs> there's so many other posts that I might have a chance to sort of have another look through to talk about you know, particular things on this video. But there's uh, gaming things there and, and wow. usual t shirts, comics, movie stuff. Oh. All that stuff, and, and also this um, something that I, me and my friend Mario played on at Margate at the mm -hmm. Geek Expo a couple yeah. years ago. The guy who has arcade machines built out of fruit and wood. What? So you got apples that control the controls and stuff. Damn it! Yeah, man, and it's, it's wacky. And they've got giant Game Boys and you can play Tetris on as well. So. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, because yeah. I feel like I watched that yeah. video. I was yeah, like, yeah, what yeah. the hell's but going on? The same people are bringing their stuff to Leicester Comic Con. Oh, then, so. man, man, that's going to be good. Because I keep seeing the post coming up on my phone, and I'm just like, oh, man. And it's hard to keep up because you just Every like, Every day oh, is something yeah. new and it often comes when I'm at work and I ain't got a chance to see less than comic conference. I'll like, check this out later because I want yeah. to talk about it in the video. Yeah. But no, I haven't had a chance to sort of go through exactly, but I know that you're taking a lot oh. of black arrow money. Man, I'm taking a lot of money. Yeah. The thing is, I've been saving up for this and what is, a lot of the time when me and Kev decide to do an event, I will save up from that date. So whatever date it is, I'll save up from that date, even if it's the next year. I'll save up because at least that way yeah. it gives me a lot of leeway and we know we've, have more we know we've been waiting for this for about six, seven months. So. Yeah, I would be waiting a lot so you can imagine there's a lot of money for six or seven months saving and working full time. But for me, it's more of uh, the atmosphere and a lot of the time with the atmosphere and being with people who you, know, you hang around with a lot in your personal life and you go and experience uh, loads of stuff you're interested in. It's really good. So for me, it is about spending it is about getting stuff from my collection and also Retromania, but it's also about spending great moments with friends. It sounds very soppy, yes I know, but the same point is, it is good uh, to go to events like that because you meet other people there yeah. who like are geeks like that and love that sort of stuff. And there's loads of outfits there and people who have done this film there and loads of guests and stuff. So yeah. for me, it's just all around um, exciting to go like this. Yeah, you just know it's going to be good. We've had so a lot you know, of fun in the past and Collectomania and, and oh, Mark Mark and, uh, so check out that video as well. Yeah, yeah check them out. And, laugh, and obviously we're, so we're going to be filming at the event as well. Yes, and we've yes. got a whole crew with us this time. Yeah, we've got a lot of people. We've got like five, everybody. Yeah, five or six of us <laughs> are going. Holly's coming, so you'll get to see her on camera if she's not hiding away. Yeah, we'll get her on camera. And, uh, we'll get her we've on got camera. our boy Tugboat250, you've seen on, on uh, our shows before. Yeah, yeah. And we've got our boy Robbie Gibson and our boy Grant Randy Bastard as well. <laughs> Grant Randy Baxter. Grant Ramsey Baxter. My bad, you know. That's Baxter. Nickname. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's really good. So we've got a lot of people coming. So obviously we get a lot of good angles in there. And you know what Kevin's editing is really good. So he makes it very special for us, which is great, you know. But for me, you know, um, on the day, I think it's just going to be a crazy, crazy moment for me. Yeah, yeah. So anything you guys see me do, please, you know, take it. You know, it's just, it's just going to be mad because I can see me running off like I did at Kleptomania. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> keep up with it, man. I, I say, keep up with the cameraman. The cameraman's the place to be. Yeah, yeah. I, know, I got carried away and, you know. Um, but it was crazy because from that one, a lot of people recognised that show. And they like, did, oh, yeah. You know, I, mean, good. Yeah, I think we'd sort of put, put up a video similar to this one in preparation yeah. you know, in, um, to let people know we're going to be there. So, yeah, the same way, come say hi. You know, let us know what you picked yeah, up and, yeah, and what you're looking forward to seeing at Comic Con and that. And, uh, you know, get a bit of camera. Yeah. You know, it's all good. Okay, Kev, what are you after? This is, this is what right. I'm talking about. Well, so, what I'm, have you got on your wish list? What has Holly got on their wish list? It's difficult for me because, you know, it's only been a couple of months since. Uh, Gaming convention, London oh, Gaming oh, Market. Yes, yes. So a lot of my money went towards that. Yeah, you were so, crazy. Um, Check that video out. Yeah. You were crazy that video, I was man. in there buying stuff, man. Check yeah, that video man. out. So yeah, money's a little bit tighter for me this time. So I'm more going for the experience. I put a bit of money aside. I got, got some birthday cash to spend. So okay. I put, put, put a bit of money aside for that. 
Um, so I always got to pick up a t-shirt. Yeah, one. Yeah, Most likely a gaming one because that's yeah. what I do. Or wrestling sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah and, then, sure, and then I'm always going to be raiding them PS1 and SNES games because you got to win your money. Yeah, yeah, you can't leave it. So uh, leave probably, it. And sometimes some artwork for the walls is always a win as well because Holly's into some sort of the, the comic Marvel stuff for that as well. It's always good to stick up. So, yeah, yeah. And so I think Holly will be... She'll probably pick up a T-shirt and maybe some Captain America. She likes Captain America, doesn't it? Yeah. She might yeah, get something along yeah. those lines. And uh, I might actually, because you know, like with the comic books, I might just buy a bundle like you you, you did. Just have a little gallery. You can get them for like fifty p a piece. I might just have a look yeah, through. Yeah, have yeah. A look through and see what's. Uh, I think I mean it's always good, like you know, when you buy because obviously for that I bought that for my page. Yeah, yeah. But also it's like oh wow. It's worth looking through, yeah. isn't it? And I always believe knowledge is power, and to read more and to research more, you think oh wow, you know. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of them comics. It's obviously I've paid a certain amount for it and I've made that back already. Yeah, so yeah. the rest is profit, which is good. You know. So but, if you wanted to keep them, you're happy to, man. Yeah, exactly. And it's all about like finding out more. But I think for me, like, like you see yourself, like PS1 and uh, SNES games, you have to look through. But at the moment, me and my partner, like, we get into like Lego games. So like, many of them. I didn't well. realise how fun they were. Like, Mate, when I they're all them, similar as well. So yeah. you know, just with the different characters, because I've been playing the Avengers one. And which yeah. one is it you're playing? The We're playing the uh, Jurassic Park. Jurassic one. Park. We've just yeah. completed. There's two. There's the original Jurassic Park. Jurassic and World. The world of Jurassic Park. Yeah, and yeah. So we've completed the main like title one. So now we're going to do the old one, which is on the same sort of yeah. thing. So they give you two choices. So that's good fun. And like, I remember playing Batman Lego, and I was like, I never really enjoyed it that much. Yeah, yeah. It's just strange. Think, yeah, yeah. There's loads of different ones, isn't there? That you play. Like, a lot of Star Wars ones yeah. as well, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. And they hold the price, and it's just so much fun playing that. But I've got a list of stuff. I think, like, I'll start off with saying I'm going to get a lot of the uh, movie stuff. So I'm looking for, because obviously Man of Steel, you know, it came out. You know, yeah, Man of Steel came out a while back. Um, you've had Batman. Versus Superman's came out, so there's going to be a lot of melabilia for that. I'm hoping, so I'm probably looking to get a yeah, lot it's of good, them. Good timing for that. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm looking to get a lot of them sort of figures. Um, of course, wrestling. <laughs> I don't go too much. You guys get it. You know, I'm always after wrestling. Don't need to mention that. But also, I want to get like loads of Hot Wheels as well for the big ones. Okay. The only problem is when I see one of the big Hot Wheels, um, it was a Batman one. It's like 200 quid. That was a Collectomania. I'm not looking to pay that, probably £80. If you get one, probably a second hand one at that. I can't see me getting one for new at that. No, you clean it up, man. Yeah, but I did see one for £100. There was one for £200 and one for £100. So. Sorry, yeah, sorry, I'm thinking sorry. one more thing that Holly might want to pick up is. Got uh, you know, she does like her little pop figures. Oh man, them so things do my head They're in. everywhere. These will, these take <laughs> over these collector man. That's Daniel Bryan, that one, you know. Yeah. The Yes Movement and all that. Um, Why is everybody... I don't I know, they're, they're huge, man, because they've got like... Basically, they're official for all these different brands, man. And, and every other store sells these at these sort of yeah, events yeah. now. Um, I've not jumped on the bandwagon. I've got friends who have and love them. It's almost like a one-two so right. pop. You can't stop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you buy one, they want to get more. And, and Holly's only got this one and then... Uh, um, I think it's uh, Doctor Who. Doctor Who, yeah. That looks so, like um, oh, what's his name? Ah, I, I can't remember. Which, I, it's, I the, it's, the, Who, it's the it's the pop. It's really good. Yeah, was. yeah, yeah. But um, so yeah, she's she's into them. Um, so another thing she'll be looking at, and, and she's got her birthday coming up, so she'll probably have a few a few pounds to spend as well. There, you can so. probably get a, a nice present. Much, yeah, a little cheeky yeah, present. Yeah, yeah. Good, good, good fiance. Oh, good, good. I hope so. Yeah. Hey, she's, yeah. still, she's still here, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Sorry, man. So, yeah. No, so, cool. so, you've got your money. You're on about them Hot Wheels cars. Yeah, you're yeah. Up to a limit, sort of thing. Yeah, I'm up to a limit on them. But the problem with me is I'm quite versatile. There's a lot of things I like, you know? So, that's the problem. That's why I have to take up quite a bit of money with me. Yeah. You know? But it's kind of good because I call this throwaway money. And the reason why I call it throwaway money is because it's my money. It doesn't affect my family. So they're cool. This is money I've saved up. So this is my little pocket money, if you want to call it that. Exactly. However you want to put it, you know what I mean? It's my little bit of splash. So I get to buy what I want. And this is the time. These places is where you're going to find something that you've been wanting. Ah, Mortal Kombat figures. I haven't seen them anywhere oh, yet. Man, you keep saying about Yeah, them, and they keep going online for £25 each. The cheapest one I've seen is probably £9.99, but that was loose. So uh, I know the Mortal Kombat X had a had a series they brought out for that. Mortal Kombat 9 had a series for that. So they're the ones what I'm looking to get. Anybody who's watching this actually has them and wants to trade them, 
please um, please hit me up at Retromania because I'll be quite happy to oblige. I really am because I don't see them at any of these shows. Do you know what I mean? And they're very rare. I did see one bundle which I see on eBay, and so I've got it. I didn't, you know, keep my bid on that. And that went for the two hundred quid. But looking at it, it was worth it. Though. It was so worth. You it. You wouldn't sell that on again. You keep. No, no, keep I'll that, keep that. Though. You know, so that would be the sort of stuff that I'm looking to go. I'm looking to go for the more rare stuff, but also stuff for Retromania as well. So. I'm all around after a lot of stuff, yes. <laughs> yeah, so it'd be good. So the retro games, the retro consoles, the retro figures, um, and anything that catches my eye, definitely t-shirts. Definitely t-shirts I'm looking to get and stuff. So that'll be a bonus, so excuse the spin. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be definitely a bonus to get. So I'm looking forward to that, mate. That's cool, man. Is there anything else you... you no, nah, man, I'm just looking forward to it. I've got, got, got a week off work now, so yeah. I've got a build up for you it. Your photo's as well. Uh, yeah, man, you get the camera. Use your phone, because you know, my new phone, the camera's not like oh, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Yeah. That's a 41 megapixel. I'm just saying it's 41 megapixel. But we can get loads of photos of the... Uh, of the Ghostbuster car as well. That's yes, gonna be yeah, awesome. that's going to be awesome, man. You know, and uh, we can try and you know, get, get away with it. You know, yeah, I'll bring a little little can of gas and yeah, yeah, see if yeah. we can get anything out of that, but I bet I took all the innards out. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, I think so, definitely just be a shell. But, cool, cool. but me, you know, it's going to be good. You know, um, anybody who, who see our show and is going to be up there, Please, you know, hit us up. You see us with the camera. We're quite happy to interview you there on the spot. No matter how busy it is, we can interview there. It'll be either K I'm, I'm basically got the camera. The camera's just there. Yeah, oh, man. Going, yeah, yeah. Ken will have it like that. Literally, you know, we have worked out so we can interview anybody. And if you want to get on camera, get on camera. You know, we're quite easy going. So crack along with that. But for me, I'm happy with everything I've explained to you guys. You guys have seen so many videos. If you haven't, then you need to check them out so you can keep up to date with the stuff we pick up. So once you're up to date with that, you'll more you'll understand more of the videos of what we kind of grab. It's easy to say, it doesn't change. It's the retro <laughs> geeks. <laughs> so my man Kev is gonna uh, finish off and he's gonna shut the show. Yep. For me, I'm just gonna chill here, relax and take it easy. Put Quite okay. So yes, next weekend we will be there on the Sunday. So if you're there on a Saturday, don't buy everything because you know we'll leave some stuff for us. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll see you on the Sunday. Like I say, we said, come holler at us. Let us know what you're picking up, what you're looking for. And it's Black Arrow, baby, that's what we do. Yeah, man. Take care, stay blessed. Peace.